Babylon can't stop this campaign. Rampage, cause I know why the heat the rage. Cause the guys be bringing it out. This kingdom, we bringing it down. Lost sheep, we'd have been found. Waiting till we get a crown. Crown talk. Yeah. This that crown talk. Nehemiah don't want to be like Nino Brown now. Cause this that king talk. Real life king talk. Like Solomon, I see things clearly like a greenhouse. The wordplay can't get colorful. The scriptures cutting you the butter too. Not to mention we a living legend. Don't know what to do when a myth is standing right in front of you. You better watch and just take notes. The father sent the flood in a rainbow, but his son coming back with fire. So it ain't gonna be no more scapegoats. Let me tell you what the prophecy unparalleled with the prophecies. Stopping Fritz, bodies in the street. My people, property in this monopoly. Call it America, where the dreams come true. When nightmares and the demons come to the side of my agenda, I don't give a damn if you offended. Cause this and behold, our reproach, our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our water is turned to strangers. Our houses is turned to strangers. Our rulership of the planet Earth is turned to strangers. We supposed to be ruling the planet Earth. You supposed to be ruling the planet Earth. Come on, pull up, my brother. Pull up and learn how to rule. You have to first do something. You have to obey the Most High God. Right. The Black Messiah. Right. You have to learn who your God is. What your people went through. You have to think who you are. Is that it on that? Read. Our houses to aliens. Our houses is turned to aliens. That's letting you know these other nations are the illegal aliens. We are the rightful inhabitants of this earth. Right. The Israelites are the rightful rulers of the planet Earth. Right. But you'll never get that if you keep on rolling your window up, rejecting the prophets of the Most High God. That's right. Read. We are orphans and fatherless. Uh -huh. Our mothers are as widows. It says we are orphans and fatherless because we don't have the Most High God with us. The Most High God has returned to his place until we, uh, uh, until we acknowledge, thank you, our iniquity. Right. The Most High ain't with us right now because we still in the midst of sin. Right. Drop that, get Isaiah 59. Bring it up. Verse 1. Bring it out. Isaiah 59 verse 1. Bring it out. Because in these last days, we have to come back to the Most High God. Read that out. The book of Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened uh -huh. that it cannot save. So the Most High hands ain't short that he can't come. He can come save us right now. But what would he be saving? A bunch of drug addicts. He not going to save them. Baby daddy, baby mama. Baby daddy, baby mamas. These murderers, we have to get ourselves together. Right. Neither is ear heavy that he cannot hear. Neither is his ear, ear heavy that he can't hear our prayers. But we in sin, so he ain't listening to us. Right. Read. But your iniquity. But our what? Iniquity. But our sins have what? Have separated between you and your God. Have separated us between the love for the love of the Most High. He waiting on us to repent. He waiting on us to come back to him. When are we going to stand up? Bring it it's, out. It's high time that we wake up. Romans 13. Bring it out. When are we going to wake up? Take we up. sleep right now. We the walking dead. We the zombies right now. We need to wake up. Shake this mortal man. Shake this sin off of us. Right. But we too busy listening to rap music. Read that. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. To awake out of sleep. Because we are asleep from the commandments of the Most High God. Right. We are asleep from knowing who our God is. What are we? What is the black man supposed to be doing in, in, in 2020 right now? Let's get, is that it on that? 
Yeah, read it again. And that knowing the time, that now it is our time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So now our salvation is near. The most high God is about to come back on the earth. And what, what will we be doing? Still smoking weed, still fornicating out here, still doing drugs, still hoeing our sisters out, still, sisters still prostitute, dressed all out of order, trying to, trying to fight the black man. Well, we came over here on slave ships together. Read it one more time. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Give me Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28, is it verse 9? 9. Verse 9, yes sir, read that. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. Huh? He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. So the Bible says, the Bible says, he that turneth away his ear from hearing God's laws, read. Even his prayer shall be abomination. Even his, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Right. The most high ain't listening to our prayers as long we are, as, as we are, as if we are in the midst of sin. Right. He ain't listening to our prayers. Right. He rejecting our prayers. Read it again. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Even his prayer shall be an abomination. But we've heard that all our life. We heard God hates the sin, but loves the sinner. Is that biblical? Bring it out. Psalms 5 and 5. Let's see if that's biblical. Does God hate, my brother? Does God hate? What you think? Does God hate my brother? He said no. Let's see. Proverbs chapter 5 and verse me. Psalms chapter 5 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Uh -huh. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. The Bible says the most high hates all workers of iniquity. All workers of iniquity are gonna perish. You either go repent or you will all likewise perish. That's what the scriptures say. You got that that's what the Bible says. Repent or you all will perish. Thermonuclear fire is coming to this country. Are you going to be part of the saved or are you going to be part of the destroyed? Let's see. Read that. Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. The Bible says unless you repent, you gonna die in the thermonuclear fire. So you might get put to death right here in the intersection. Because what? Give me the wages. The wages of sin. The most high, if you're in the midst of sin, the most high can put you to death at any time. But we take that lightly. Then I get a Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. The wages, the payment for sin is death. So what do we have to do? We have to stop sinning unless we want to get put to death. Because the Most High God will put us to death at any time. The Black Messiah, Jesus Christ, will put us to death at any time. If you are in the midst of sin, if you still eating pork, if you still eating shrimp, crab, and lobster, if you still fornicating out here, the Most High give you an infectious disease like AIDS, gonorrhea, syphilis, corona. We worried about coronavirus, but we still ain't stopped sinning yet. Cancer been out for years, but people still smoke cigarettes. We put a mask on, and they take the mask off to smoke a cigarette. Right. But cancer will kill you faster than Corona will. He got a black and mild. Read what you got, huh? Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Hey, this is for you with the black and mild. Read that. Because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily. Because what? Sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because the Most High God ain't coming down, cutting your head off for smoking a black and mild. This is what you do. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully satisfied.
forbidding them to do evil. So you doing evil right now, my brother. That's, you about to catch fire, throwing the flyer out the window. Right. How you, how you doing? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? Come on, come on out. How y'all doing? We out here for our people. We teaching the truth according to the Bible, our nationality. Do you know who you are in the Bible? What race do you come from in the Bible? There's 18 races of people in the Bible. Which one do you come from? That's what makes you mad. You like, African, so the word, the African American is in this Bible? That was, the African American was just made up by Jesse Jackson in 1987. Well, tell, okay, all praises to the most high. Y'all gonna come back? Y'all gonna get out the car for a second? Cool. I wanna have a conversation with both of y'all. You see what I'm saying? I can't see, I can't, I can't even see in the car. Come on now, deal with me for a second. Five minutes, all right, check this out, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse one. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass. Moses said, it's gonna come to pass, meaning it's gonna happen to y'all in the future. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently, Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you hearken diligently, you know what hearken means? Hearken means to listen. If you listen to the Lord thy God diligently, not just hear it, you have to you have to listen diligently. Read. To, to observe and to do all his commandments. To what? To observe and to do. All his commandments. It says to observe and to do all his commandments. Read. Which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He will set us on what? On high above all nations of the earth. What does that mean, sis? On high of all nations of the earth. On high above all nations on the face of the earth. Uh -huh. What does that mean? It's the highest one. Huh? No, that, that means rulership of the earth. Who's ruling the earth right now? Who is the top nation in the earth right now? Huh? I can't hear you. What you say? The devil ruling the earth. Okay, I can I can I can I can go with that, right? But there's a specific race of people that's ruling the whole planet Earth right now. Right. Who is it? You don't know? Okay. Keep reading. We're going to find out. Verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay, so if you don't know who at the top, who the top nation of the earth is, who the bottom nation in the earth? Who, who live in the worst conditions in the world? In any city you go to, who live in the worst conditions? The so-called blacks, right? right? And we got the so-called blacks, we got the Hispanics, and the native Indians live in the worst conditions in the city, right? Go to verse 15, watch this. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass. Now Moses is saying again, it's gonna happen in the future, read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, at first he said if you listen, but now he's saying if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. If he said, if y'all don't listen, if the is if Israel don't listen to the commandments, let's see what's gonna happen. That all which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these what? All these curses. All these what? Curses. Well, all these what? Curses are gonna come upon Israel and overtake them, meaning they will always be living in these curses, right. right? Let's see what the first curse is. 28, 16. Yes, sir. Verse 16. Right. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The Bible says Israel was going to be cursed in the city. All right, we live in Jackson, right? right. Who live in the worst conditions in Jackson? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, right? Right. So who's the Bible talking about? It's talking about the, the so-called blacks, right? But Moses said he wasn't talking to African Americans. Like you said in the beginning, he was talking to who? Who was Moses talking to? The first verse we read. Israel. Moses was talking to the elders of Israel. We still we still dealing with Israel. Right. He said, Y'all gonna live what? Read. 
Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Ain't no prosperity. When you look around, do you see blessings or you see curses? Huh? You see curses. You know how? Because we got potholes all in the street. We got trash all over the ground. It's uh, broken bottles. You got brothers out here selling drugs. You got prostitution going on out here. This is how we cursed in the city. Right. This is what the Bible is telling us. Re keep finish that up. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall thou be in the field. See, I want y'all to get out so y'all can see the illustrations we got up here. You see what I'm saying? Curse shall thou be in the field. You see what I'm saying? Come on, get out, man. Get out the car, man. Come on, get out the car, my brother. Before you pull up. Oh, he got to go. But check this out. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. If you examine history, who was cursed in the cotton fields? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, right? So what, who is the Bible talking to? Who? It's talking about us, right? So who are we in the Bible? Yeah, I said Oh. What race of people are, who are we in the Bible? Jake. The Israelites. We are the Israelites in the Bible. That's right. Moses is talking to Israel. He's still talking to the same people. But we can't. We we lose the thought because we can't. We we can't keep up because our minds. It's been a block put on us for so long. Right. Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. We was cursed in the field. We was made work for free. What, what could a nation of people do with free slave labor? You could build an empire. That's what you could do. Right. America was built on, our, on the backs of our forefathers. Blood, sweat, and tears. Our forefathers built this place under this curse because we broke God's commandments. That's right. We are still breaking God's commandments. That's why we're living in these curses. Read verse 32. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did this happen to? Our sons and daughters was given to another people. Who did this happen to? Slaves, right? Who was the slaves? We were the slaves. We went through slavery. Right. The Bible is talking about us, but it don't say African-American, sister. The Bible don't say African-American. It says Israel, Israel. Israel, the Israelites. That's who the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians is in the Bible. Because you're not going to find those names. You're not going to find uh, West Indian blacks, American blacks, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cuban. You're not going to find these names because we was renamed in slavery. Right. They said we can't call them Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, right. Manasseh, Simeon, Altair. We can't call them those Bible names because then it's going to register in their mind. Oh, the Bible talking about us. Teach up. You see what I'm saying? Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh -huh. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So our eyes would look and fail with longing. That, that means they we going to cry for our children. Right. Once the slave master came in and got our children, there was nothing we could do about it. If, if, if I'm a slave and, and master came in and said, I'm going to sell your son to Master Charles in Virginia, what could I do about it? All I could do is cry, sister. That's what the Bible is saying. We going through these curses. Israel is going through the curses till this day. Right. We still going through these curses. Cause what would have happened if uh if your child missed too many days of school? They come and what? They come for the parents. What, what gonna happen to the kids? CPS come and take your child. Right. That's 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 curses. That sons and daughters will be given to another people. That's that's still going on today. They come and take your kids away from you. The kids that came out of your body. Read. And there shall be no might in thy hand. And there ain't nothing you can do to get them back. Yeah, yeah. But you see, but you see what we do? We ride around with this with the so-called white woman on our on our lap. Right. 
saying we made it. We made we, it. We think we think we good. It's all good in the hood. He but he finna go over a pothole and mess his whole front end up. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because we hate ourselves as a people. Right. And that's why we going through these curses. Is that it on that? Yes, go to verse 48. We going through curses as a people right now. The blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. We are not prospering in this land. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. It says, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. You hear what the Bible says, sis? Sis, you heard what the Bible said? What did the Bible just say, sis? Read it again for him. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. It says we go what? Serve our enemies. Did we not do that? Did we not do that? You need to listen some more? Yeah, that's why I said get out the car. So you won't be distracted. Alright, read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. We going to serve our enemies. The Bible going to explain how we going to serve our enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent our enemies against us, against the the nation of Israel. Alright? Read. In hunger. In what? In hunger. In hunger. When you want something to eat, do you go out in the woods and hunt for your food? Sometimes. What you what you what you use to hunt with? No huh? You hunt. What you use? A rifle. Okay, so you gonna hunt your food, right? Do you do that every day? No. Okay, so you that means you gotta go where to get food? To the store. All right. Who owns the store? We didn't have no. Huh? White folks. So read that part again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Uh huh. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh huh. In hunger. In hunger. So you gonna serve your enemies for food? Right. That means, as a race of people, we have to go to another race of people to get our food. That's right. Teach up. The majority of us need to go to our uh, enemy to get the food. That's what the Bible is saying. Teach up. All right. So we need we go to our enemies for food. Let's see what else. And in thirst. And in what? In thirst. In thirst. When you want something to drink, you want a bottle of water. Where you got to go to get a bottle of water? You got to go where? To the store. To the store. Who's, who owned Aquafina? Who owned Dasani? Who, they, who owned the water that go to your house so you can take a bath? And what happened when you don't pay your water bill? They turn it off. So guess what you got to do? Guess who you serving for water? Because what? You go to work, but you pay a water bill that they can cut off at any time. Right. So you serving your enemy for food and for water. Read. And in nakedness. And in what? In nakedness. In nakedness. Who made Gucci? Who made Hanes? What is it that made? Even though they got Michael Jordan up there, who who make the who make the shirt? If you look in the tag in that shirt you got on now, what is it gonna say? What's your name? Huh? No, I'm saying. What's your name? Monique. Monique, okay. Does your shirt in the tag say made by what Monique? What does it say? Where does it say? Where does it say it's made in? Where does it, where, where it say your shirt made it? Huh? You checking it out now? All praises. Let's see. I want to see. Vietnam. Vietnam? Wait a minute. You got a shirt made in Vietnam? Guess what you doing? You serving your enemy for clothes. Right. Teach up. The shoes you got on your feet. Guess what the tag and them say? Made in China. Right. The, pa the, the pants you got on, we going to deal with that next. Guess where they made it? Taiwan. You got clothes made from all across the world. The hat you got on, guess where it made it? Japan. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I, you see how we serving our enemies for everything we need? Yeah. This car y'all rolling in. Guess where it's made? Who what race of people made it? I know white folks made okay. it. So we got everything we need come from another race of people. Right. Why can't we do these things for ourselves? Because God got curses on his chosen people. Right. Because of our what sins. Teach up. 
because of our sins, we got to go to the other races of people for everything we need. Bring it out. Keep reading. And in one of all things. And what? In one of all things. If you want a driver's license, guess where you got to go to to get it? X. Your enemy. You want an education. Guess where you got to go to get education? From your enemy. You think if they didn't treat us right in slavery, you think they going to teach us right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.